Okay, so when first starting, you're gonna spawn around here next to this thing. You're gonna wanna look around and find some sticks and some dry grass. Basically what you wanna do is take a stick, take a piece of dry grass, attach. Then you're gonna wanna take a piece of flint, attach. If you wanna make a fire or a torch, slap them together, you've got fire. We also want to make a hammer. Let's take another stick, dry grass, connect them. Take a stone, boom, there's your hammer. I'm gonna move out here. That smokestack in the distance is the blacksmith, so you can keep that as like a little landmark as you're traveling around. This is going to be like the center of the town right here, this lake area with the stone in it. So, first thing you're going to want to do as a fresh townsfolk is increase your inventory size. It's going to be way useful for early adventures and cave dives and whatnot. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. So, basically, in the game right now, there are two different types of bags you can create. There's kind of the starter bag. It's made out of sticks, dry grass, and sticks. <laughs> it's pretty easy. It doesn't have as much inventory space as a leather backpack, though, and that's going to be kind of the goal, is to get a leather backpack. Then you'll have an acceptable amount of inventory space, because the four slots right here aren't good enough. And you'll quickly see why. Basically, when you see this first sign, you're going to want to follow the pointer that says, To the Mines. You're going to follow this road. This is the shopping center. People are selling things, so stuff like iron and red iron, cooked meat, palladium, valium, mithril. Um, the frick is this? Oh, geodes. There's a mailbox that you sometimes get stuff out of. And I get nothing because... I don't know. If this red bit is up, then you have mail. If it's down, you don't have crap. So, this is a tool that can be used if you're wanting to send items to friends. Except I don't have any, so... That's too bad. If you're hungry, as you can see, my hunger bar is draining. If it goes underneath half, you cannot run anymore. Above that's my health. I have eight hearts, I like to say. Yeah, each little segment is a heart. You can increase that as you play, and I'll show you how later. So here's a little tip. If you ever like just need anything, feel free to ask people because they're generally nice and have a lot of stuff. If you need food, I could give you some. That would be nice. Right, thanks. Those are pretty good. Pieces, so. Those are perfect. Alright, so as you can see, people just, they'll give you food if you ask. So if you come right here from the store to up here, you'll see the sign. There's the town hall up there, and the mines are further up that direction. We'll hit up those later. We want to head towards the training grounds. This is the General Crafting House. I don't know what it's called exactly, but as you can see, there's some tables, some contraptions over here. You'll find these books. These books are how you get the crafting instructions. So this is where you'll usually find the book, and you just pick it up and it'll open. As you can see, this, it's showing you a backpack gives you nine extra slots and it shows you the ingredients you need we don't have any of these right now so we can't make that you can flip the page by physically flipping it or if you're I'm using index and I'm just using the analog stick to flip it make buckets pouches cauldrons flashlights little rings to hold your tools on your backpack lanterns quivers all sorts of fun stuff. What we're looking for is this. This is the starter bag, as you can see. Six slots. Um, and it takes sticks and dry grass. 
you're gonna be wondering how do I actually like craft it you just grab the page rip it out the book okay now you have the instructions you're gonna come over to one of these tables that are um, preferably empty because you never know if people are using these other ones when there's stuff on them honestly it doesn't matter just pick one and then slap the page in there as you can see it'll pop up right here and it'll highlight certain parts the parts it's highlighting are the parts you need to uh, assemble first so it's asking for a stick I never got to There's use a stick. This off a cliff without more sticks. We need to throw in a bunch more sticks. Someone so we need more sticks and more dry armor. grass, basically. I'm going to go collect some. So I've crossed over this bridge, and this leads to kind of the open field. Out here you'll find rusty tools. As you can see, there's a rusty shield. Um, you'll find shovels. There's some shovels that can be used for certain things. I don't want to say yet, because it's kind of a lot of information. There's a rusty axe. It's going to be used to cut down wood, if you want wood. So still in the field, if you continue along you'll see something like this. A map with a structure next to it. The maps. Yours will kind of all be blurred out and have question marks around everything and it'll be confusing. Basically you'll see this little hand icon. You put your hand there and grip. And it'll light up and then once it releases your hand the area you are in will clear out. You'll be able to see around you. The red X on the map is where you are, and these are a bunch of other people. It's lagging super hard over here because there's so many other players. This little hut next to the map is um, pretty nice. It shows you how to chop wood. So basically, it's just saying, have an axe, chop chop, wood logs, wood sticks. That's how you get it. Yeah. Okay, so I hope... Um, that makes sense. It says if you chop down the big stumps, you get logs. Very interesting. Chop down the sticks, you get even thinner sticks. That's right. What are these used for? Um, arrows. Arrows. I wouldn't recommend going into archery first, but if you really want to, um, you can. Anyways. Basically, I've collected myself eight sticks and six dry grass. We're gonna go make ourselves a backpack. So I came down through this area. That's where I got my sticks. If you look around, um, usually players will have trees chopped down and there'll be logs and sticks everywhere. And I don't know, just, just look around. Go exploring for your sticks, okay? And dry grass. Basically, if you come up these stairs, there's another map. So, let's uncover this area. These little map stations are kind of like the, um... What are they called? Those towers in Breath of the Wild? I, I can't remember what they're called, but... It's like that. Alright, so we're back at the crafting station. As you can see, our uh, project has not been touched. So, oops. Let's go ahead and grab some sticks. Slap them in there. And as you can see, some nails pop up, right? These nails need to be hit with a hammer. And I bet now you're wondering how you get one of those hammer doohickeys. Um, well, you just make one, and I'm gonna show you how real quick. You wanna take a stick and a rock, and you want to mesh them together. This is a hammer, okay? Um, now let me show you how 
this part is done. I'm gonna just rotate it a bit. All right. So with these nails, you wanna be careful because as you start crafting more and more complex things, you're going to be able to break parts of your build and you don't want to do that. So you wanna be careful. Basically just wide swings. Don't like mash it, right? Don't swing full force. Just go like half force and then keep increasing the speed a little bit every hit until the nail goes in. And of course, server lag does affect this, so it all depends on how the server is, you know, handling. Sorry, I got some lights on because I realize it's kind of annoying when it's pure dark. <laughs> The server's lagging a lot right now, if you can't tell, so... Sometimes the simple act of just... Exiting... And re-entering... Will fix the problem. Alright, we're back, and my head is gone now, so... That's pretty cool, right? Boom, it worked. All it requires is for you to be headless. We've figured out. Boom. Alright, so now it's asking for another stick. Let's go ahead and slap that in there. Um, no nails this time. Very cool. As you can see, it's asking for two more sticks on the back here. And a nail up top. Boom. Another stick on this side. And a nail. Um, there's another highlighted area also at the front here. You can see that for a second. Sorry, it's lagging so bad. There it is. It's highlighted. Just take a piece of dry grass and be like, Bleep. Um, it's asking for another stick on the back. Let's go ahead and make that work. Two more sticks. It's asking for nails also, so we're gonna have to... There we go. Boom. I don't know if you can tell, but you just hold the item, hover over it till it's green, let go. Easy. Now just apply grass on all sides of the basket. It's also asking for nails at the front here, so. Okay, and the handle up here. You never forget the handle, okay? One more stick. Oh gosh, it's glitched. <sighs> there we go. Sorry, this looks so weird. I'm headless, and just just ignore that part. Dry grass. Boop. And one more nail. Uh-oh. There we go. You hear that sound? We're done. We can now pick up the bag. And as you can see, it's working. I would like to, like, make this look good, but I can't since I apparently don't exist, really. This is strange. I've never encountered this bug before. But yeah, a bag. Update. My head is now back. Now you're set to do, like, basic jobs and start actually playing the game so as you can see you have six slots here you're going to be able to place whatever you want into these slots and then sling it over your back and it'll stay there so nice next thing you may be wondering is where's the rest of the town well let's go explore it right the training grounds is obviously not this building this building is where we made the backpack. Um, past that, it's kind of just... There's some targets over here that you can shoot with arrows and have fun with. Um, as you can see. Nothing too useful. There's some dummies over here you can play with. You can physically move them around. That's why I like this game so much. Everything's physical. If a VR game doesn't have physics, it's not too fun. You know what I'm saying? 
That's all the training grounds is. It doesn't have much of a use. So you won't be going to the training grounds very much. I never have, really. That's my, like, second time being there. On purpose. So anyways, you're gonna see this sign. There's two more spots we haven't seen yet. Actually, three. We haven't seen the blacksmith. We haven't seen the mines or the town hall. I'm just gonna show you the town hall because it's actually kind of cool. As you can see, the town, it, it kind of, it just looks normal, right? Little village in the mountain area. So, now, if we look to the town hall, holy crap, yes, this thing is huge. There's a map over here we can um, activate. Boop. And clear out that area. Um, there's more shops over here. Every town kind of, it's a bit different in how it runs. So obviously this town, everyone has a lot of gold. So all the prices are just jacked up. Make sure to keep your hunger up. I don't want you dying on me, okay? We walk in here and this is what it looks like. At least the bottom floor. These are kind of the banks. As you can see, there's a gold coin up here. You place your hand on here and it basically, it, log, it logs you into your account. I have 25 coins. I think you start off with 25. I may be wrong though. If you want to take out coins to buy stuff in the shops, grab this lever, pull it down until you get the number you want. Say if I wanted all 25, um, you grab and you hold and it gives you a bag of 25 gold. Cool, you can throw that in your slot. And that grab and hold technique can be used on anything that's stackable. So if you have multiple pieces of food, you can grip, hold, and then grab a bag. I don't. I only have one more piece of meat, so I can't do that right now. But the gold, grab, hold, there's a bag. You can also split it. This is how you split items. So if you grab a bag of 25 gold and you grab again with your other hand, it splits it. And you can use the analog sticks, at least on the index, to change the amounts of the two items in each hand. So yeah, that's the bank. That's pretty fun. Here's kind of the vault for your items. So you place your hand on here and it logs you in. Boop. And as you can see, I've played this server like once before and I got all this junk. So very cool. Um, you can place items in here. You'll never lose these items, right? So, anyways, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna turn in my coins because I'm not actually gonna carry these. So, if you take your coins, there's a little compartment here. You just toss them in there. Boop. You have 25 coins. So, if we go up another floor, you'll see these three machines. Um, I didn't know what these did for the longest time, but it's actually kind of useful to know how these things work. So. If you get gold ingots, which you will eventually be earning and getting from the mines, you can bring them up here and you can toss them in the center here and pull this down, boom, and it gives you five coins per ingot. And you can just keep farming coins. So if you ever get gold ingots, come up here and turn them into coins because gold is kind of how it is in Minecraft. It's pretty weak useless besides the use of coins so as you can see the tower it's just a spiraling staircase but if you go to the top there's something special and that special thing is the view that's literally it it's not special really at all this is the town it's pretty cool right if you ever get lost the most important thing to remember is that smokestack that is the blacksmith and the town hall which is freaking huge and you can see that from like anywhere but that's the basics of the you know, basics of the world of this game um there's much more to it still i mean we have an entire mountain area a quarry area field with camps and there's a lot okay but this is just the main town and you'll get used to it as you walk around um always ask people how to do things and because it's useful and my guys looking to the side i don't know why there's nothing over here whatever 